Up next in Let's Play Cards, we reveal, review, and play with a community member's deck. Coming up! Greetings and welcome, I am Gamer Mingle and we are playing cards, the World War II digital collectible card game. I have created my very own Gamer Mingle Discord community server, so I will be having the link down in the video description area. Please be sure to join my Discord community. What I am starting to do is chat with cards members, community members and uh, talking about various decks, for instance, uh, Johannes, we, we will be having a look at his deck in this episode, um, aka Donald Trump on Discord. I will showcase what he created and at the end of this episode I'll give you my feedback and my review regarding his deck. So be sure to join me on Discord. I am planning some big things and it would be nice to have some interested community members on my Discord channel as well. Come on over. Before we start talking about Johannes' deck, um, I'm on cards.com. Be sure to come to this website if you are new at cards and watching my video. If you're a new viewer, welcome. As always, welcome to the returning viewers as well. But if you are a first time viewer, especially welcome to yourself. Be sure to head over to cards.com. They have a lot of uh, material available on their website um, helping out newer players it is a beautiful website i really really like their style and the way this ip is heading i mean look at that you can click on the card and it will give you a rundown of each stat nation rarity type credits operation cost the base the base set does not have the icon at the bottom right hand corner as with all cards game in real life and digital uh, can i find a new one now no but the new ones have the little cross in the bottom right hand corner from the Allegiance expansion. Might as well do it while we're on this topic. Last week I did kind of want to mention this, but I kind of lost thought of uh, train of thought. But there you go. You can clearly see it there at the bottom right hand corner. Expansion cards. So be sure to come on over to cards.com. And then what I wanted to say as well is if you click on game, I love this artwork as well. It depicts the um, Battle of Midway very nicely, very nicely. Uh, jumping over to my brand new Gamer Mingle Discord server. It's brand new, as you can see there's not a lot of uh, <laughs> members yet, but be sure to head on over and join my Discord. It would be awesome to chat with more of you guys and to help me as well grow and all of us just sharing in this cards community. It's great fun. So if you go to the cards room, you'll see that we've got Focus Force Gaming has shared one of his decks here, as well as his video, how he managed to get Field Marshal of said deck. Donald Trump, uh, Johannes's deck we'll be looking at in this episode, shared his, um, what is this? Um, it's not that one, further down, here it is. Japs and Soviets, we'll be having a look at this deck. And then what he did is he went over to playcards.com and he created his deck on this website for cards um, so if you do not know this website be sure to head over there as well jumping over to playcards.com we can see that the most popular decks is on the home screen we're gonna head over to decks and we are going to search for Japs and here it is so what we can do is we can see Japs and Soviets uh, version 2 has been uploaded by Johannes the main nation is the uh, Japanese, the secondary nation is Soviets. It's been viewed 26 times. It is been upped, voted twice. And this is the cost. 
And that's the one of the reasons why I'm looking at his uh, deck and reviewing it and playing with it in this episode. And then also it has one comment and then the date it's been uploaded. So the reason why I want to look at this deck, it's, it's relatively cheap. And I have not managed to get Field Marshal with this deck. I was in the last rank and I was one game away. Unfortunately, I started losing a bit again. Um, but I'm quite sure that if you do a little bit of grinding in the current state of this deck, you can get into Field Marshal. I was very close. Um, and comparing it to other decks, it is really not very expensive. I'll show you the card that makes it expensive and you can actually reduce the cost of this deck significantly by dropping the elite card so just the uh, legends here at top uh, that I've that I've mentioned and then if you obviously scroll down here you can see here his deck is so clicking on his deck there's only the one comment I left so I basically just stated to be sure to check out my video regarding the, this deck um, what he did not do unfortunately is he didn't put down a short paragraph um, how to play this deck but luckily for you guys, I will be doing that now shortly. I will give you a quick rundown of his deck and I'll play with his deck. You'll see me play with it. So basically we've got the HQ. Four bloody sickles. It's been nerfed. And I'm glad to see that playcards.com is very quick with the draw. They've changed this card already as well. So that's very good. This is the Elite that makes the deck actually significantly more uh, expensive, the cost to build this deck. So these are staple. I would keep them. Uh, regarding the change, it used to be a zero cost and it could only strike ground units. So now it's a one cost and it can strike air and ground units. I, I like the change. I can see, especially with the early rush burn deck, we want to try and finish off your opponent uh, before the 8th round or the 6th round type of thing. You really want this to be a zero cost because the one cost does hurt. But we'll play and we'll see how it goes. But so far I'm liking it. I like the idea that I can hit air units with it as well. So that's just regarding the blood sickle. Hence him mentioning this is version 2. It's with a bloody sickle nerf. A bloody sickle nerf. I like the wording. All right, so these are nice to have. You can ta you can destroy um, some elites that's behind um, smoke screen, which is basically like a vulnerability. If they do not attack or move, they cannot be attacked by units. However, they're not in uh, invulnerable from enemy uh, target cards, order cards. So we've got the Shibata. This is actually seems to me like the core mechanic and his thinking behind this deck is to rush the this unit to the front to the front line and then it's got the blitz at the start of your turn give this unit plus three attack and deal one damage to it so this is where Jaggernaut comes in so you would rush this shibata to the front line and then you would leave him there for a round and hopefully he will not get destroyed and then at the start of your turn his attack goes up by three and then you can play the Juggernaut on top of him to give him a plus two plus one and basically also give him that plus one HP that might keep him another round on the table for you. Because at the start of the round it also takes one damage. So he's he's like a <laughs> he's like a kamikaze type of infantry unit. He's running in there disregarding his own life if you want to look at it uh, thematically in that sense. Type 93 staples, I feel. Uh, plus one to all friendly units. The zeros, I don't play with them often, but they are very popular in the cards community, it seems. The zeros, um, also that one damage can synergize very nicely with the bloody sickle. So I like the zeros in this deck. Uh, the Russian Katushas, Katushas um, also kind of a staple. It's a very nice card. You can put it on the table and immediately... It's just that zero to one additional damage sometimes you rely and hope it gives you an extra damage and it doesn't which is a bit of a pain but i guess you you can hopefully rely on bloody sickles to to finish off the target and obviously it can synergize with the zero as well to try and help you finish off a low hp enemy 13th rifle regiment it, this one is a bit strange for me he's getting more value out of the card because you get to play it it gets destroyed and you get to add a soviet unit soviet infantry card to your hand so a bit of value on that side if you're playing a blitz rush uh, japanese deck the 15th rifle sorry 15th cavalry regiment is a kind of a staple as well i feel um limited cards as well 
card draw mechanism he's got the rising sun three copies if he has and be sure that you are, have a japanese unit in the front line i have unfortunately made a mistake where i would play this on a russian unit and it would not trigger so if you've got a japanese unit infantry any units in the front line you can play rising sun and draw yourself two cards ancient empire so this is where he kind of buff ups his units as well hopefully you've got two or more units on the table three ideally or more you get plus four hq defense and then all your friendly units get plus one one this is also a nice card in this deck um they are common so they are cheap to craft if you don't have them akita regiment staple for all blitz burn decks regarding japanese two one cost two one hp and the uh hp and attack and then basically you just play it send it out with blitz ideally to the front line as quickly as possible and then when it gets destroyed you get to do that to random damage to an enemy unit the um, Japanese um, air unit also another common this one is a 4-2 3 HP attack deal 2 damage to the enemy HQ this is the burn mechanic which uh, Japanese is basically often uh, that's basically kind of their like popularity is the burn side of their decks and then we already discussed the juggernaut it's a one cost order card so this is the breakdown of his deck. Uh, let's jump on over and then we can try it out in game. All right, in game, we can head over to my profile. We've got 36 hours remaining. Um, yes, unfortunately I haven't got into field marshal with my Japanese sticks yet. I was on the general rank, I was like one away, I like one four in a row and I was one away to get into field marshal. Unfortunately I lost and then I kind of <laughs> lost all the way back down to the initial start of that rank. So um, yes, this is my current ranking on this deck. And then if we jump over to the decks, so we can see your Japs and Soviets V2. Let me just filter out the, oh, let's leave the top, I guess. So we can check, uh, let's forget the terminology. This is common. Why does it not show? Oh, standard limit limited yeah um so we can see that you know this three cost card is it you know it, it's a very nice elite if you have it put it in if you don't i don't think this deck is gonna break without this elite this this deck is not built around this elite so you can definitely go on ahead and add another card i would probably try and stick to a, a unit so even well, you can't add a Russian because then you're going to have to, you can only have 12. So then you're going to have to take out another ally, a Russian card. But regarding the Japanese primary nation, I guess this would, I mean, the first signal regiment would work beautifully in any, any sort of, you know, um, rush, uh, blitz, burn deck. Uh, you, you definitely want that in. Uh, let's filter it down to only Japanese as well. Just a quick look here. Um, I've my, my I've got I've, I've actually built a deck around this elite, so I'll share that in the near future as well. It, it's kind of fun to play with that deck. Yeah, you don't want you don't you don't want guards. Um, yeah, Mito is I kind of a staple as well. But I guess you can probably put in a Mito, or if not a Mito, you see the the thing with this. Uh, elite is it just has good value you get to play a 2-2 with blitz and you get to destroy enemy unit with an attack of two or less so it, it does give good value it's not very expensive to play neither but it's just expensive if you if you are on a limited budget or a newer player you know and you want to play with a very uh, competent deck um, you don't want to go crafting as elite if you don't need to because I mean it is expensive to craft elites so I guess you can also look at orders. Maybe you can add a maybe maybe add a uh, mm, Fibus Assault's always good. This is actually a good card. Uh, I mean I've got more elites, so my card pool in Japanese is a bit more extensive. My available cards because I, that's my second favorite faction in this game, nation. So I tend to spend more resource on them. Um, I would add another Ancient Empire personally. Um, what is the breakdown? 27 units. I guess another order won't hurt, but I would tend to stick to also another unit. Uh, I guess you don't want to add. This really hurts. I've played some 
decks where people put one of these in and they actually hurt as well. So you might even consider to put in a coastal house it How's it? I never know how to pronounce that word. Alright, enough about that. Let's jump on over in and do the first matchup with Johannes, his deck. Life of me. <laughs> zero, zero. Alright, so Mulligan. Obviously, we want to have cheaper cards in hand. Um, Juggernaut, I'm going to keep it just to try and pull off his kind of core mechanic he's tried to build into this deck. And that's not much better. I guess, hopefully I can not play the bloody sickle, but I can play the Shibata and hopefully pull off his mechanic that he's built around in this deck. So they've got new, uh, in the latest update, new anim like, you know, emotes, fonts and that. It looks beautiful. So now I don't have anything I can play and rush Blitzwift, so I would probably just play a Soviet unit. 2179. I don't know how this player number system works. It really annoys me. It always feels like I'm not, I'm like one of the oldest players in this game. Um, yeah, this is not going to work if I send it to the front now. So let's do the same. And I guess waste a credit. 31. Oh. That was actually kind of a waste. Beautiful game, I love the artwork. As we are getting closer towards uh, release, this game is definitely becoming more and more polished. Um, yeah, you see that was a total waste. I guess if this was a card game in real life, it would have given me this card now. nice. So we've got 8 cards in hand. Enemy has 5. He's on card draw 32. Hmm. That is interesting to say the least. We don't want to draw more cards. He's definitely going to nuke this card. I want to I want to showcase it so badly, but just doesn't feel like it can get to do that. Let's apply the pressure. I mean, this is a blitz rush uh, deck off tool. Blitz burn. Okay, well, let's do it. Doesn't seem like he's fussed too much. Let's see what he does. He's gonna totally destroy this. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> Just trying to showcase something, man. So yes, the unit would add a plus three, um, one, and then I would play the, the Juggernaut on top of him, so he would have had two HP and five attack, which would have made it significantly better. Hopefully I can pull it off uh, just now. Uh, two, three, five, yeah, that's the problem. Okay, well, let's do that. And then let's go I 
I don't actually want to destroy this card. Mm-hmm. Might as well get it over there. So that, what is that? That's four plus three, seven. Wait, is that? It's eight. <laughs> no, it's seven. I can't count. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. it's going to do three again. Let's do that. Less damage I would do to myself. Nice artwork. Oh, it hurts. So we've got options here, we can play the Ancient Empire and then we can play the Juggernaut So basically that's the mechanic and the thinking behind Behind, behind the, you know this build, this was his unique mechanic he did mm, I was just thinking, sorry Tend to stop talking. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that cost me the game. Alright, that's the first game. There's no way I'm going to win that because I need to draw a card. But I did get to showcase the mechanic. Um, his unique mechanic he was thinking of this day. So now I'm down to zero stars on general rank. And um, yeah, honestly I didn't feel like grinding too much um, to get field marshal. So if you do decide to play with this deck, Kindly let me know um, if you managed to get Field Marshal with it. I, I did very well. I was on zero and I got all the way up to the last side. I like, won four games in a row. Obviously, in the last rank, you don't um, get... If you win two games back-to-back, -back, you don't get to uh, have a bonus star. You need to win each single one of those uh, games. So, uh, I was just one away to get Field Marshal. So, I am very positive it can be done. So, let me know if you managed it watching this video maybe in the next season let me know if you've managed to do that i did ask johannes uh, donald trump discord name um if he has managed and i'll let you guys know if he has managed to do it or not all right that being said let's jump over into a second game and see if i can hopefully win uh, a game with this deck to showcase you guys Alfie Foxuck. <laughs> Foxuck, that sounds weird. So I'm not going to bother with the Juggernaut this time around. Alright, and I like this opening hand more. And that, my friends, is why you would want to have that Elite card, because you can take him out with that. Uh huh. And this is going to start costing me now. Let's mull for my... Why did he give me two damage? Oh, it's the bloody sickle gave me one and then he gave me one as well. Rush for days. I'm going to have to throw this guy under the bus.
That's weird. Let's play that. The um, if you highlight the card, the pop-up uh, menus are very nicely. They slightly see-through, transparent. I really like that as well. Okay, we just need one card to do one more damage to this, because this can actually cost me the game. And there we have it. Does uh, he not have any cards to play? Okay, well, let's give him plus one, plus one. Oh, I love it. <laughs> the uh, card animations and the sound effects. Um, the Mr. Schmidt Schwalbe German jet um, air vehicle. Uh, it sounds so awesome. That jet engine noise, you know. We are going aerial. Fast tempo game. Mm. That was a very nice time to play that. I haven't played with this card a great deal yet, the 34th Infantry Regiment. This seems this is one of the new staple cards. But people with a uh, rush burn or rush uh, blitz deck uh, doesn't do not mind to discard their cards. And I guess it's the the one zero, you know, doesn't hurt to put it in your deck. I'm gonna definitely put this into my my personal new Japanese deck. I'll showcase that in the near future, so you guys can have a look at that. I'm gonna have to destroy it, unfortunately. Though. Yeah, this hurts. It, it was very good for him to have the elite home defense card. They can't, yeah, he can destroy this with his bomber. Oh, nice. But the bomber can't take here. He's gonna have to take the airplane. Oh, beautiful! I can tell you, just destroy that on my airplane. Oh, that was clever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this really sucks. It's gonna go up to a five defense plus four attack but that does not matter because he has the ambush keyword which means when attacked for the first time each turn this unit deals its damage first and then receives no damage if it destroys the enemy unit ambush aka also known as ambush in magic the gathering oh, so yes that's not very nice at this stage it kind of hurts mm. He's got a nice deck. And then... What happened there? That was so weird. That was a mistake. GG. Just finish it off. Oops. <laughs> the thing I just explained to you guys just happened to him. He missed my ambush keyword and he tried to attack the aeroplane and that totally lost him the game. Alright, well, <laughs> that is the deck in a nutshell showcased. That's my current mission I'm busy with. Let's jump on over to the cards. So, my impressions. If you read the, on my Discord server my comments towards Donald Trump, you could you could have probably noticed have noticed that I like this deck, and the reason why I like this deck is it fits my play style. 
I tend to play blitz decks, cheaper units, and kind of rush and try and finish the game quick. You know, so I like my my quicker tempo games, my faster t paced games. I'm not a big fan of British style turtle decks where you just tend to fortify your HQ the entire time. Um, not my preferred way to play. So this fits my personal play style. And that is obviously I'm a bit biased and for that reason I upvote this deck for that reason. So I'll, uh, I, I personally can make a few changes to this deck to make it work better for myself. But at the end of the day, the way it is, the way uh, Johannes has made this deck, um, I like it. I like the he's got card draw in there. He's got the second raiding brigade that can destroy you. You've noticed with the first game, he, he was, no, was it the second game? Anyways, he had the. I keep forgetting what they call him. Elite. The first sigil regiment. He had this on the table, so obviously this would be a great card to destroy all the nations. Uh, one four cost elites, because each main nation has one of these cards. Um, that's a zero four, you know, and and this is ideal for those for those elites basically. So that's why I like this card in the deck personally. And then obviously anything with burn destruction keyword um, is also nice to have in in, in your deck. The Shibata, I, I see what he's doing here and I like the mechanic. Um, it's just personally, I haven't had a great deal of value out of that mechanic. Um, the 13th Rifle Regiment has surprised me often where they give me good value card if the game tends to go mid to late game. So this is actually a nice addition. So overall, yeah, I like it. I've had fun playing with this deck and um, that was the reason why I wanted to share it. However, I will not only share decks in the future that I really enjoy playing or that I think is nice. I'll share various decks um, and yes, if I have the cards available in my uh, collection, I'll be sure to craft the exact copy of that set deck and I'll be sure to showcase it. As always friends, I thank you for watching and um, we will dis discuss some more decks and play styles in the near future. I still need to discuss some keywords of the new Allegiance uh, expansion that came out in December. I'll probably have uh, another glander at that in the next episode and then we can continue discussing that. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful week. Until next time, lakadach and bye bye.